We are saddened to report the tragic death of Kiska, the last captive killer whale in Canada, who spent over four decades in captivity at Marineland, a zoo and amusement park in Niagara Falls. She was believed to be 47 years old at the time of her death. The announcement was made by the Ontario government, which had been informed of Kiska's passing by the theme park on Friday. Her death marks the end of an era for the country, as Canada had officially banned whales, dolphins, and porpoises from being bred or held in captivity four years ago. Despite the ban, marine mammals that were already held in captivity would remain in confinement, as in Kiska's case. Kiska was captured in Icelandic waters in 1979 alongside Keiko, the star of the movie Free Willy, and spent the rest of her life in captivity. Keiko, on the other hand, was eventually freed back into the wild after the film's release in 1993. Kiska's life of continued isolation led the Whale Sanctuary Project to describe her as the loneliest whale in the world. She lived alone in a small tank for over a decade and could be heard calling out for other orcas, a tragic reminder of the impact of captivity on these highly social animals. Animal rights organizations have long been advocating for the release of captive orcas into their natural habitats, arguing that they suffer greatly in confined spaces. According to People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Kiska spent her final years isolated in a cramped tank, swimming in endless circles or sometimes floating listlessly. Footage of Kiska purportedly slamming her face against her tank multiple times also began circulating on social media in 2021. The stress of captivity has been known to take a toll on orcas, which are highly intelligent and social animals that swim up to 100 miles per day in the wild. They have only ever attacked or killed humans in captivity and never in the wild, a testament to the psychological impact of confinement on these creatures. Orcas in captivity are heavily drugged with Valium, which can have a numbing effect on their senses and make them more docile. Animal welfare activists have responded to the news of Kiska's death with concerns about the orca's treatment while in captivity. It is heartbreaking to know that Kiska will never have the chance to be relocated to a whale sanctuary and experience the freedom that she so deeply deserved, said Camille Lapshuk, executive director of Animal Justice. There are at least 55 orcas being held in captivity in marine parks around the world, as of January 9, 2023, according to the Whale and Dolphin Conservation. SeaWorld, which has three marine parks in the United States, holds more orcas in captivity than any other individual park. The death of Kiska serves as a poignant reminder of the need for greater efforts towards the protection of these magnificent creatures and their habitats. We hope that Kiska's death will serve as a reminder of the need to end the captivity of these amazing creatures and to move towards creating sanctuary spaces for those already held in captivity. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more updates on animal welfare and conservation.